Selumetinib, also known as Kozaligo, is a medication used to treat a specific type of tumor called neurofibromatosis type 1, which grows on nerves. This medication is classified as a kinase inhibitor and it works by slowing down or stopping the growth of tumor cells. It is important to take this medication as prescribed by your doctor and to follow their instructions closely. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking Kozaligo will vary depending on your specific condition and medical history, so it's important to consult with your healthcare provider for the best approach for you. Before taking Kozaligo, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually twice daily about 12 hours apart. It is best to take it on an empty stomach, at least one hour before or two hours after meals. Swallow the capsules whole with water, and do not open, dissolve, or chew them. If you vomit after taking a dose, do not take another dose at that time. Take your next dose at the regular time. Avoid eating grapefruit or drinking grapefruit juice while using this medication unless your doctor or pharmacist says you may do so safely, as it can increase the chance of side effects. The dosage is based on your body size, medical condition, response to treatment, and other medications you may be taking. Take this medication regularly at the same times each day to get the most benefit from it. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed, as it will not improve your condition any faster and may increase your risk of side effects. Lastly, since this drug can be absorbed through the skin and lungs and may harm an unborn baby, women who are pregnant or who may become pregnant should not handle this medication or breathe the dust from the capsules. Some common side effects of Kozaligo 25 mg capsule antineoplastic, MEK1 and MEK2 kinase inhibitors include nausea, vomiting, tiredness, abdominal pain, or dry skin. If you experience diarrhea, it can cause dehydration, so be sure to drink plenty of fluids. Contact your doctor if you notice symptoms of dehydration like unusual decreased urination, dry mouth, fast heartbeat, or dizziness. People using this medication may experience serious side effects, but your doctor has prescribed it because the benefit to you is greater than the risk. Tell your doctor immediately if you experience serious side effects such as easy bleeding slash bruising, muscle pain slash weakness, signs of heart failure, vision changes, or a serious allergic reaction like rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions and report any concerns promptly. Before taking Kozaligo, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems. It's also important to discuss your medical history, including any bleeding or blood problems, heart disease, eye problems, kidney problems, or liver problems. If you are planning to have surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. For women who are pregnant or may become pregnant, it's important to avoid handling this medication or breathing in the dust from the capsules, as it may harm an unborn baby. Men and women using this medication should also inquire about reliable forms of birth control during treatment and for one week after the last dose. Regarding breastfeeding, it is not recommended while using this drug and for one week after the last dose due to the possible risk to the infant. Be sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using Kozaligo. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking Kozaligo 25 mg capsule antineoplastic. MEK1 and MEK2 kinase inhibitors. This is because certain medications or herbal products can change how Kozaligo works in your body, leading to an increased risk of serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Some products that may interact with Kozaligo are those containing vitamin E. Additionally, other medications, such as rifamycins, St. John's wort, and drugs used to treat seizures, can affect the removal of Kozaligo from your body, potentially impacting its effectiveness. Be sure to consult your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If someone takes too much Kozaligo and experiences severe symptoms like losing consciousness or difficulty breathing, they should call 911 immediately. Otherwise, they can contact a poison control center for guidance. 
In the U.S., residents can call 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call their provincial poison control center. It is important not to share this medication with anyone else. Before starting this medication and while taking it, you may need to undergo various medical and lab tests such as heart, kidney, and liver function tests, as well as skin and eye exams and CPK level tests. It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments. If you forget to take a dose of Kozalugo 25mg capsule, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's within 6 hours of your next scheduled dose, it's best to just skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the regular time. It's important not to take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store Kozalugo 25mg capsule antineoplastic at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Keep the medication in the original bottle with the desiccant to protect against moisture and make sure to close the bottle tightly. It's also important to avoid storing the medication in the bathroom and to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to discarding the medication, it's important not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. This will help ensure the safe and proper disposal of the medication. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.